Well, 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 the industrial update has finally become public. I've been so excited for this moment. I don't want actually waste your time chewing through the mechanics of how it's working from the beginning. I'm sure most of you have already looked through the guides or figure out by yourself. But I would like to focus on a couple of possibilities and a bunker that makes the core completely different way than the developers think. So the large furnaces are closed in a circuit and remain empty for most of the time while cooking and deliver the finished stuff directly to the main core at the same time. But it doesn't mean that you no longer need turrets dudes. I also really like that you can place 6 electric furnaces in a one triangle. I hope the developers will think of reducing the size of the ordinary furnaces so then you can do the same with them. Another cool thing is a autocrafter and now you need to keep the blueprints in a sneaky place. For example, hide them in a dropbox behind a workbench. And the autocrafter is just an amazing thing. Let's look through and how it works. That's awesome. Stop, 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 but the video is about the bunker. Well, actually, yes, and here we go. It's pretty simple, dudes. The god bunker works perfectly with the pipes, and it's still the best bunker ever on my mind. Well, thanks for watching. You're awesome. Please comment and like this video and I will appreciate your subscriptions as well. Please take care and see you next time. Hikik is out.